Hello, hello and welcome to another update video about Link. Link continues to move in this leading diagonal to the upside in a potential five wave move. One more high would be ideal to complete this diagonal pattern. We could then talk about wave five of one. We're currently exploring if the fourth wave already bottomed on the 7th of January. That's been the, the view for, for a little while now that um, the wave four bottomed obviously and that a wave five is already unfolding. Just to show you the structure again, it's wave one, wave two, wave three, wave four, and a leading diagonal has five waves. So one more high would be ideal. It is possible, I have to say that very clearly, and that's actually how I count it at the moment. It's possible that this is an impulse and not a diagonal. Does it make a great difference? Well, it, it depends then, well, it will impact how the fifth wave is unfolding. At the moment, the fifth wave is counting um, it counts quite well as a five wave move as an ending diagonal itself which means that the entire five wave move that started in June is likely an impulse but that's just sort of the academic side of it not so important at the moment um, it was more important is where is support what are the invalidation points what are the targets and uh, to find out what the target is Let's take a look at what I posted a while ago, actually, on um, on Twitter, the X network. I posted about a link a few days ago. I did highlight that from this swing low that we highlighted as a setup, as a trend reversal area here highlighted in orange here. I explained that I can already see a potential five wave move up in this A wave of wave three or five and that the target yeah, is $21 plus. The invalidation point is $13.51, which is the swing low that happened a few days ago in our trading area. So if you want to be and stay up to date, feel free to follow us on Instagram, Twitter, the X network. There's plenty of content here. Also some stuff that goes beyond simple tech. Well, it's not simple technical analysis, but that goes beyond our the core of what we're doing, which is technical analysis. So there's some educational stuff mindset, news, and so on. What is important now is to find out what are the latest structures. Is there another support area? And yes, I have added the support area um, earlier today, yesterday, posted that already on Discord and Telegram. I can't remember if we talked about that in the last video already, but the idea is that, yeah, if the wave four really formed a low here around the 7th, 8th of January, then this fifth wave to $21 plus is currently what is likely unfolding. Um, it's not the clearest structure. As I said, it's possibly an ending diagonal here that's unfolding. Um, it's With diagonals, we always have to be a bit flexible with regards to the actual structure. The problem is the initial move up from that 7th of January low, it's a three wave move and it could easily be something different. But if it's a, a three wave move, then this is an ABC structure in wave one wave two pullback, wave three is an A, B, C, then a wave four and a wave five, okay? So that's sort of what I'm watching. Um, as, again, wave three is an A, B, C, has to be if the wave one is an A, B, C structure. And um, yeah, I mean, I'm now watching for a bit of a pullback. It's not really coming down, doesn't mean it has to come down. It could also, without a problem, do the third wave in one go. Um, where should the third wave get to? So first of all, if a pullback shows, the ideal support area for a B wave pullback is between $14 and basically $15 too. I have to say though that B waves can be extremely shallow sometimes um, in the right, you know, if there's the, the, the right condition for it. And therefore I wouldn't, I wouldn't bet on this pullback to happen. But if there is one that can act as a setup for the C wave higher. But if we talk about the third wave overall, it should reach minimally the 1.236 extension. So as I said, nearly like $18 is $17.80. Then we've got the $18.37 level um, next, which is the 1.38 Fibonacci um, extension. And then we've got also the 1.618 extension that's at $19.37. But I, I mean, there is also structural resistance here around $17.80 to $18.37. Only really then I think wave five can send us to $21 plus. We'll see how that all comes together, but the overall uh, parameters I think are clear. The $14 level is critical support. And against that level, I focus on higher. 
And yeah, that's my update about Link. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.